Hi, I'm here to talk about Jupiter Sending, a movie that came out in February 2015, starring Myla Kunis um, as Jupiter Jones. She's a carbon remake of a space alien queen who um, owned a lot of the planets because all these people, all these space aliens, um, the space royalty, as I like to call them, the Abrasax family, they um, owned and controlled a lot of planets. They seeded them so that humans would be born on them so that they could use the humans for their rejuvenative properties. I'm not really sure which part of the human is the rejuvenative property. I guess it's like their essence or their soul or something. That's what I'm going to call it, but it doesn't ever actually say in the movie. It's just kind of like, oh, we harvest humans for this. So, everybody's trying to kill Jupiter because they don't want her to have possession of, of these planets because they want them for themselves. And they know that Jupiter will probably not understand like how space economy works and they don't want her to mess it up by making people stop harvesting humans. Like, I guess if I were them, I would want the same thing. Probably not. Um, so Jupiter is kind of an idiot throughout the whole movie. She just kind of listens to what everybody tells her and doesn't make any attempt to like understand it by herself or you know ask any questions of anyone, which if it were me, I would be asking all the questions and I would be like, don't tell me what to do, I'm the queen. Um, which I guess she's only the queen by proxy because she's like the carbon remake, she's not actually like crown queen, but I, I feel like she could have used that to her advantage. Anyway, um, so the space queen who she is a carbon remake of has three children, Titus, Balaam, and some other chick who's not really that important. <laughs> so Titus tries to marry, he's the youngest brother, he tries to marry Jupiter so that he can kill her and, you know, have all her possessions, which is actually a pretty good idea. I don't know why Jupiter decides to go along with it. She just thinks that he's trying to marry her to protect her, which is, you know, just another example of her stupidity. Um, anyway, she decides at the last minute she does not want to marry him. And so Kane, who's played by Channing Tatum and is a cross between a human and a wolf, which they have a lot of cross human animal things going on in this movie. I don't really understand why, but it's there. Um, he comes and saves her, and she's like, oh, thank you so much, and then she's like falling in love with him, she's like, oh, yeah, take me, wolf boy. <laughs> um, so, he comes and saves her, and then Balaam, the oldest brother, is like really mad that she's not dead, and so like he captures her somehow, and like captures her whole family. I think she goes home to her family, and then that's how she... Like, no, he captures her family, and then she goes home and sees that her family is captured, and so she's like, no, not my family, and she goes to Balaam and is like, give me my family back, and he's like, only if you give everything that you own to me, and she's like, uh, okay, but then she's like, wait, no, that's not worth it, and so she decides not to, so... That's basically the plot, except like she defeats Balaam and like touches him. I think the planet's exploding because space cops are trying to come and save her, and she like pushes him and he falls and, and the building's crumbling and she goes and saves her family and then Kane shows up and he helps her save her family. He like risks his life to help her even though he didn't have to, and then like they get to the space cop alien ship. And just in time for everything to be okay. Um, but my problem with this movie, as you might have already guessed, is that Jupiter is an idiot. And not only does she, like, not make her a good wo an interesting woman character who, like, actually has a brain, but she's also, like, not even a hero. Like, she's supposed to be a hero, but she's not. And my other problem is that Balaam and Titus are very effeminate. Um, I say Balaam is more effeminate because Titus, you see him with girls, like, he's, like, seduced and, like, you know, like, hey, girls, I'm, I'm the man. Um, but you never see Balaam with any girls, and it's just kind of like, he's the main villain, and so they're, like, they're, like, making him effeminate to make him less valuable as a character, and I didn't really appreciate that, like, I thought that was rude. Like, I think that 
a villain should be able to be effeminate and awesome at the same time, as well as, like, women should be able to be feminine and awesome at the same time. Just don't make them stupid. Like, that was the main problem with this movie. Everybody was really dumb. And I think that making Balin so effeminate and, like, dramatic and, like, ridiculous and then having Jupiter, who's basically not very smart at all, defeat him, it's like, oh, women can defeat villains, but only if the villain is just as stupid as they are. And then they have to be saved by a human wolf hybrid named King, played by Channing Tatum. So that was why I didn't like this movie. But it did have some redeeming qualities. It was a very pretty movie. Um, and it was very pretty. And I like the bees. There was a scene with bees where like she controlled the bees because royalty can control bees and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so those are the two stars out of five that I give it. Or ten. I don't know which, which of those for movies. I think it's five. So two out of five. 